Hey guys, how we doing? Unfortunately, I've already done this video once, but I'm gonna have to do it again because things didn't work on the computer. Um, it had issues with video capture, so I'm gonna have to do it again. But it's important because I realized today I am fu- I got an email today from Student Finance and what it says is, hey, you know, in April, you're gonna be starting to make contributions towards your loan. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'll just quickly say, um, in England, we have a student loans government backed type situation. So no matter what school you go to, you pay the same amount per year, whether that's the best elite Oxford Cambridges or whether they're the really bad, I won't name any uh, type, you know, community college style universities. Um, no matter which one you go to, each one's £9,000 a year with a couple of exceptions. Um, it's, it's less than that normally. Um, but it means if you go to the best school, you get the best education, you pay nine grand. If you go to the worst school, you get the worst education, you also pay nine grand a year. But you don't have to pay any of that money upfront or even think about it. You just literally tell them who you are, that you're from England, and they pay it, the government pay it all on your behalf. You accrue all that loan, and then after a certain period of time, it starts collecting interest when after you graduate, and you've got to pay it back when you earn a certain amount. And that amount is called the threshold. So at £21,000 or more per year, you'll start paying back 9% of everything over that per year back. So all this means is you won't pay anything unless you earn 21 grand or more. So it's quite a good loan in that respect. Um, so it's a, it's a debt that no one really thinks about. You just go and get it and you go do it. However, my situation is slightly unique because I did four years at university to do my master's and my bachelor's. Um, at £9,000 a year and I got a supplementary loan um, to support my income every year for four years and at the moment I'm doing a PhD so for the next four years I'm not going to be anywhere near the £21,000 threshold so it's only going to accrue interest without any payments made. So where am I up to right now? Well this is actually how much I owe <laughs> and that number is quite big £51,466 and 99 pence the current interest rate is 4.6 so in that email what they've said is at the moment it's 4.6 percent but come april when you start making contributions for whatever reason I don't know why it's 4.6 percent now and it's going down but anyway it's going down and it depends on how much you earn how much the interest will be so if you earn more the interest will be more if you're under the threshold you only pay rpi which is retail uh, price index i believe so inflation, that's all you pay, uh, which is currently 1.6%. So I thought, let's look at where we are up to in terms of if it was like some sort of a real life type of loan, where you get the loan, you have an annual percentage rate, you have your length in months of how long the loan is gonna be, how much you're gonna pay roughly per month, and how much you're gonna pay in total, etc., etc. It did that, but it doesn't really work because it's not a fixed interest rate every year. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to pay it back. It's not a fixed term. I don't know what my monthly contributions are gonna be. So this was a fairly good guess, but not quite a good guess. I wasn't really sure. Okay, so what I then did was put my loan amounts into a table to try and figure out exactly how much it's gonna cost me over what interest period and based on my income, how much I'm gonna contribute back each year. So this is what leads me to this table now. So we're at the current loan amount at the end of year one, pretty much graduated nearly a year ago, but it will be as far as the government are concerned in this April. Um, loan interest for this first year has been 4.6%. And my stipend, because I'm doing a PhD, is 14,500 a year, which is below minimum wage, but it's tax free. So it kind of works out okay. But, um, that amount is way below the £21,000 threshold, which means I make no contributions, which leads me on to the next column. This column here, if you look at the formula, has an if statement. So that just basically says, if this amount is above 21000 take that amount, minus 21000 from it, times it by 9% to figure out how much it's going to cost, how much payment I'm going to make that year. It's false at the moment because I've got no details in. And these notes are just for me to just, that's why I'm on that amount or why I've put that amount, just in case I got confused. But it's actually been pretty straightforward, to be fair. So whilst I'm under £21,000, <clears> I'll only be having RPI percent interest, which is at the moment 1.6%. Again, that could change, but let's just call it one6 for now. So by the time I finish my PhD, my loan is going to be £5,000 more. It's going to be £56,460.09. So... 
Let's say I leave university, I finish my PhD and I get a really good job. That would be something like 35,000 pounds. So that year I'm gonna contribute 1,260 pounds, about 105 pounds per month to the debt on my loan. Now, because I'm well over 30,000 pounds, the interest it, the loan is gonna accrue is 2.95%, is 3% per year. So let's scale that then over the next 24 years. Don't ask me why 24, I just chose it. Well, as you can see, what's happening as I go down is that I'm actually not reducing the loan that I owe. I'm not even paying the interest off every year. I can contribute more, but why would I? Because that's an extra tax I have to pay that nobody else would have to pay. So the loan isn't getting any smaller, which blew my mind when I first saw this. And I was like, but okay, in 24 years time, if I was on 35,000 pounds, that's nowhere near inflation. And, you know, I'm not doing very well. So I was like, right, well, realistically, then what's going to happen after a few years, I might get a better job. Let's say I've gone to a 40,000 pound job. So that'll be my new low minimum for the next foreseeable. It's like, right, okay, well, I'm, I'm nearly paying it off. You can see every year, it's only going up by like 20, 30 pounds now. But I still, at 40 grand a year, I'm still not paying off my loan. The interest is far too high for me to pay off my loan. Madness, absolute crazy. Okay, let's say then again, a few years at that company, I then get a pay rise of, let's say 10% pay rise. And then that'll be my new minimum. So now I am finally paying off my loan, but not until I get to 44,000 pounds a year within the next 12 years. That's when I'm gonna start paying off my loan. Hence why I'm fucked. So now I was like, right, okay, let's, let's see how long it's gonna take me to pay off this loan. So let's just drag the columns all the way down. 63, let's just do more. I mean, this would mean I'm nearly 100, but whatever the interest again probably would change but i can't really predict that if the government are going to set it as and when they please and again the forty-four thousand pounds probably isn't going to be that it's probably going to be a lot less but let's just say for argument's sake i'm going to earn forty-four thousand pounds for the foreseeable future after 10 years i'm not going to pay this loan off until until 75 years time i'm 23 that means I'll be 98 by the time I pay this loan off. If I even make it to 98, I will have just paid this loan off. Just. It's madness. It's absolute crazy. But then I was like, right, okay, let's let's push it to the extremes now. Let's push it, okay? Let's say I'm going to walk out of my PhD and get a great job, okay? Really well paid, super fun. It's going to be 50 grand from day one. How long is it going to be before I pay that loan off if I don't get any pay rises or whatever? I'm not going to pay it off for 41 years. That's from 50 grand from day one, 41 years. I'm going to be 64. Retirement age is like two years later. I'm going to have retired, then just paid my loan off just before I retire. So what this is, is proof that the government have applied an extra tax to people who want to go get an education. I'm being punished for wanting to get an education. The evidence is right here. But hey, let's push it a bit more extreme. Let's say, okay, £40,000 a year, but let's index link it as well. Let's match my wage with inflation. Okay, and to do that, all we need to do is say, well, £40,000 times 1.016, um, so that's 1.6% increase per year. But I'm going to scale this over all of them. So I'm going to replace that with this, the column above. So now when I drag this column down, it's going to take the value above it and times it by in inflation, which does mean in 75 years times, I'll be on 120 grand. So this is not realistic. People's wages do not scale with inflation at all. But let's just say if mine did miraculously, how long would it take me to pay it off if I started on 40,000, which is a super wage? Yep. Yeah, there it is. So it's when this loan goes negative is when I finally paid it off. 40 years time. Okay, well, let's start on a better wage then. 45,000. Because I've put the formula in, it's going to scale automatically. 
34 years time. Okay. I want to get it within 10 years. Let's just see what we can get. Let's start something crazy. 55,000 pounds a year from day one. And my wage is going to be linked to inflation. So it's going to increase just like inflation does. 26 years. And it's still just been paid off. I don't even know what to say. This is crazy. It kind of feels like there was no point now. Do you know what I mean? From the moment I decided to go to university, this was already in motion. There's nothing I could do to stop it. The only thing I can do now to stop it is don't do my PhD. Just quit my PhD and get a job and hope that this is paid off by the time I have my own kids, which it won't be. It's just daft. If you guys want any of this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put uh, this on Dropbox so you can put your own loan amounts in and you can see where how screwed you are by the government. Yay, we're all in this together. Um, so I'll put, I'll put the link in the description of this file in Dropbox, I'll put an Excel one and I'll put a numbers one, which is what this one is. So you can use it at home. Um, I, I don't even know what to say other than I hope you like this video. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Until next time. For how long a period of time and to be as accurate as possible. Phone.